In today's video, I want to talk to you about 10 healthy habits that you should be doing every single day. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Marlene and these are 10 habits that I actually do every single day and I have been for years. Some are still work in progress because it does take time to kind of lay the foundation for a good new habit, but I genuinely do these 10 healthy habits every single day and I have found that I'm far more productive and I feel far better in myself, meaning I get to accomplish more in a day and I feel better, I'm in a better mood, I'm a better mom and hopefully a better entrepreneur as well but 10 healthy habits that i think you should be doing every single day let's get stuck into it the first healthy habit that i suggest that you should do every single day is actually before you go to bed at night write yourself a to-do list for the following day i am religious at doing this i am the queen of writing lists and to-do lists and brainstorming and all these sort of things i absolutely love it i couldn't live without it but it does have its benefits if you sit down just before you go to bed and you write yourself a to-do list for the next day, put even the trivial things like even bracket off the hours that you're at work, for instance, or um, your routine training with your daughter because she's going to training at a certain time, etc. By writing everything down, you're taking it out of your brain, putting it on paper, and when you jump into bed, your brain does not need to lie and turn over these things. I do believe that is actually like scientifically proven all these sort of things, but for me, it just helped me streamline my days. It made me far more productive and by being more productive, I feel better in myself. I also achieve more and I get less stressed being a better mom and this, it just kind of snowballs, doesn't it? So the first healthy habit that I suggest you should be doing is to sit down and write yourself a detailed to-do list. Oh, I will say as well, not only do I have a to-do list, I also have a brainstorm pad as I call it. My brainstorming pad is lying on my desk at all time and anytime I have to remember something I literally just go in and scribble it down it could be something like asking your husband to pick up light bulbs or ask your daughter to whatever you you get the idea right I literally just scribble everything down and then when I sit and do my to-do list at night time I just go through whatever I brainstorm that day and see if it needs to be moved on to the to-do list but anyway a to-do list before you go to bed at night it's a fantastic healthy habit to have I highly recommend it the second healthy habit I think you should do every single day, if you don't know it already, I think you should learn the 54321 rule. It is a rule that was invented by an author called Mel Robinson. And if you haven't heard of Mel Robinson already, I highly suggest that you go and find her. Um, you can find her on all social media. She's very, very active on social media. And she wrote this book about this rule. And the rule basically is it, it helps you stop procrastinating, basically. I'm a huge procrastinator. Procrastination is very closely linked with anxiety and depression. And I used to suffer severely with depression. Um, so it, it really, really made sense to me to kind of learn this rule. Basically, the rule is, let's say you have to get up in the morning and keep snoozing that alarm. Guilty! I hate getting up in the morning. As much as I'm a morning person, I hate getting out of bed. But anyway, um, I lie in bed, the alarm rings, and instead of snoozing it again, I count back and say five, four, three, two, one, and on one, you have to take action. So on one, the covers go back and slowly I swing the legs out of bed and my day starts. If I don't do the five, four, three, two, one rule, I will be snoozing that alarm like for half an hour, an hour, whatever. I'm terrible at it, really, really am. I use this rule loads during the day if there's something that I'm kind of putting off or if I'm, let's say I'm sitting editing. Editing videos is my least favorite part of doing YouTube. I have to sit still, I don't like sitting still. So I tell myself, right, five, four, three, two, one, you do 20 minutes now and then you get going. And then I do my countdown, I have my alarm set for 20 minutes and then I just focus on the task. It helps you basically, it gives you a kickstart. Now, it, honestly, go and read that book, especially if like me, you struggle with procrastination or if you just kind of want to level yourself up. It's a fantastic rule. It's very, very simple. It's a great book. Mel Robinson, a great motivational speaker. So I highly recommend going and learning. And, and do you know what? Just listen to what she has to talk about. But the 54321 is a fantastic habit to get into using this rule. Has helped me tremendously. So do go and check it out. Habit number three is something that I actually do as soon as I've done my five, four, three, two, one. I get out of bed and I make my bed. The first thing I do when I get out of bed is to make my bed. And it has psychologically been proven that if you make your bed as soon as you get out of bed, it's it kind of tricks your brain into thinking, that's it, I've already got my first win of the day. You've already been productive and it releases all these good things inside of you. And it is proven to make you more productive and have a better day. So as soon as I get out of bed, the first thing I do, 
is to make my bed. Fantastic habit. If you want to know more about the psychology behind all of this, I suggest you can just go and do a Google search. Um, yeah, make your bed as soon as you get out of bed. Amazing habit to have. I'm pretty much telling you my entire morning routine as we're going along here, but the fourth healthy habit that I think you should get into every day and that I do myself personally every single day is to drink water. Now, the clever people say we should be drinking about two liters of water every single day. And as much as I know it's fantastic for me and I feel a lot better when I drink it, there are days where I just kind of forget. So I do have to set myself up for success. Now, I do this by just before I do my to-do list at nighttime, I fill up four half liter bottles I put three of them in the windowsill in my kitchen and then I take one with me up to bed. Every morning I get up, the first thing I do after I make my bed is to drink water. And it just sets me up for a good day as well. And it reminds me that I need to drink water. Slowly your body will get accustomed to it. You'll get used to it and the body will start craving the water. That's how I kind of find it. I'm really thirsty. I'm dying to drink this. But it just, again, it sets yourself up for a much better day. Your system, the whole body works a far better. Again, you can go and check all the signs behind it on Google if you want to know, but try and make sure you get those two liters of water into you. Skin, everything, far better, far better. It's a great habit to have, but as I say, do set yourself up for success. Maybe place bottles around the house wherever you need them or have four already filled up and take them with you to work out. Whatever works for you, but set yourself up for success and drink that water. The fifth habit I have for you is, it kind of explains itself, but there is a but. It is get up and get dressed. And people will say, but I get up and get dressed because I got people to see and places to be. Yep, we all do. But what I mean with this is make an effort with your appearance, not for everybody else's sake, but for your sake. When I was deep in depression, in fairness, I got up in the morning, I threw on a pair of leggings and a jumper and I was that, that was me done. I didn't bother with hair and makeup and all that sort of stuff. And I didn't feel great about myself. Being plus size as well, I started blaming everything, how I was feeling on being fat, basically. But when I learned a little bit more and I saw this rule written somewhere, I don't even know where I read it, I thought, okay. And as I slowly started making a bit more of an effort with my appearance, I started feeling better about myself. The journey has been long. It has taken me several years to see my worth, that my worth wasn't tied with my weight. Here comes the rain. But when I started doing this, I realized that, oh, I'm actually worth this. I deserve to look good. I deserve to have nice clothes. I deserve to put on a bit of makeup and get my hair done occasionally. So by getting up and getting dressed, getting up and putting that little bit more effort into your appearance, not for everybody else's says, but for you, it's a fantastic habit to have and you will set yourself up for success and slowly you will start seeing that you're worth so much more than what you may think that you are. So get up and get dressed, put that effort in there, put some pride into that appearance. As I say, I repeat, not for everybody else, but for yourself because you are worth it. The sixth habit that I have on my list is it's routine. And I am a huge stickler for having a good routine in a household. It has saved the day for me many times, especially when my children were smaller. It just means that everybody knows what is happening. Everybody knows what to expect, what the comings and going. It just made life so much easier, not just for me, but for our children and for my husband as well. Having a good routine, getting up at the same time in the morning, for instance, even in the weekends, I know it's tough but having a good sleep routine for instance means that you're going to sleep better you're going to be more productive and again we have the snowball the exact same thing is for the kids by having a good routine set for them with bedtimes at set times or when they're allowed to be on their machines or when they have to do their homework when they're getting their dinner plays whatever by having a good routine you overall will have a better mental health and you will simply just be happier in your life you're just setting yourself and the rest of your family up for success so it had to be mentioned have a good routine in your life success the seventh healthy habit that I think you should be doing every day and I should be doing too I struggle with this one a little bit myself it is to get enough fresh air I think it's about 30 minutes the clever people say that we should be outside actually breathing the fresh air continuously every single day to keep optimum health and all that sort of stuff. And to be honest with you, my life kind of, you know, it all happens inside the house. Everything I do for YouTube is here in my bedroom or in my office and mom duties and all these sort of things. So 
often for me it's like running back and forward to the car really but what i have started doing is to do short walks so we have a long lane and to up to the house and i literally just walk the lanes once or twice um another thing and i started doing this over the summer which is a little bit more difficult in the winter of course but i actually literally just took a book wrapped myself in a blanket and I went out and I sat in the garden for half an hour. The dogs are running around, the kids are doing their thing and I sit there, read my book and just relax but I'm still getting the fresh air. It's vitally important for your immune system and everything else to get outside so it's one that I highly recommend that you get into if you don't have that habit. Try and up that fresh air a little bit more whether you sit in the garden or you go for a stroll or whatever you're doing it doesn't matter just make sure you get that fresh air in there. My healthy habit number eight is, it's a little controversial, so don't click off, bear with me. It is exercise. We all know how tremendously important it is for a physical body to do exercise. Many of us have extreme valid reasons for not exercising, and I fully get that. But for our mental health, it is literally the best cure for depression it's exercise. I didn't discover this until I was 40. I have wasted a lot of years of my life coming up with excuses. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna be brutally honest here. I'm the queen of excuses. I can talk myself out of anything and I talk myself out of exercising and taking physical good care of myself. Why? I don't know. I don't know because I genuinely love exercising now. I miss it so bad since I got long COVID and can't exercise and doctors have told me not to exercise. So yeah, it's kind of like, it's a catch-22, really. I talked myself out of it, knowing that it was the one thing that was going to help me. What can I say? It is so vitally important for our physical being, but also our mental health to get that exercise in there. And I will say, I know a lot of people out there, myself included, physically aren't able to do all that much exercise. I can't go for a run. I can't go for a cycle. Um, I, I can't do this. I can't do that, right? But what I can do... I could sit on the side of my bed and I can do a couple of stretches every single day. A couple of knee lifts, a couple of arm lifts, etc. Do what you can. Do not do any more than what you are able to at your level, but push yourself a slight little bit. So if you do five reps today, try and do six reps tomorrow. Again, it's such an important healthy habit to get in. I wish I had discovered this healthy habit way before I was 40 when I started exercising because maybe it would have stood me the test of time later on in life. But I'm starting from scratch with long COVID, so I'm literally just working to the level that I'm able to work at now. Find an exercise that you enjoy doing. There are so many tutorials on YouTube that you can go in and check, but do know that getting some exercise in there every single day, it is one of the best healthy habits that you can do for yourself. My ninth healthy habit is a little controversial because it's coming from a plus size person, but it is eat as healthy as you can. We're not talking going on a diet, etc. No, 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 no. We are talking about getting healthier habits. For me personally, it looks like drinking that water, getting those two liters of water in every single day, setting myself up for success. My next healthy habit when it comes to food, etc., was to incorporate one fruit a day. I don't really like fruit all that terribly much. Much. I love my veg but I don't really eat fruit so on my to-do list physically every single day it says on my to-do list to eat one fruit every single day I'm incorporating that healthy habit it's on my to-do list and I'm gonna find another healthy habit maybe I am Danish so I do like my bacon um, maybe it should be to switch over to a turkey bacon instead which is a lot leaner or cutting down on the pork chops and eating some more chicken instead, etc., etc. It is literally doing small swaps that in time will make healthier habits for me. I hope that makes sense. So we're not talking weight, we're not talking diets or anything at all. We're talking incorporating healthier habits into our foods so we in turn can be healthier. People feel better and that snowball effect that I keep talking about, all right? So eat as healthy as we possibly can. The 10th and a final healthy habit that I think you should be doing every single day is positive affirmations. I love them so much. I actually think that they should be taught at school. They are the foundation of my entire confidence. It is that common thread through my entire confidence journey, positive affirmations. So how does it work, you may ask? Basically, what I do is every single time I see my reflection, be it in a mirror or a window, a blue teaspoon, I will give myself a compliment. It's very hard to do in the beginning, I'm not gonna lie to you, because my brain was conditioned to every single time I saw my reflection to say, oh, you're so fat. A lot of it was always connected with my weight, to, oh, your belly's so big, etc. You get the idea, right? But what I started doing instead, when I saw my reflection, I would say, hey you, or 
hey, you look gorgeous today, or hey, beautiful. You get the idea. It could even be something as small as, oh, your lipstick look gorgeous. Then I started working on bigger areas. I always liked my chest area. I've always been proud of it. So I would compliment myself, oh, chest is looking good. Then I work my way down. Oh, belly's looking good today. And that one, as you may know, was the hardest one for me. Never believed anything about my belly. But I'm now at the point where I can look in the mirror and I'm no longer hating my belly. I'm not fully in love with it yet, you know, but I'm no longer hating the belly. I'm no longer conditioned to think, ugh, every time I see my belly. And that's a huge step forward. It is really, truly magical what you can do by simply just changing your mindset and start talking positive to yourself. It does take time. It's hard to do. Um, or I should say, you can say it out loud. You can say it in your mind if you want. That's up to yourself, whatever you feel confident with. But by simply just changing that mindset around, I love myself 10 times, a billion times more now than what I did just five years ago. It's incredible, the difference. Positive affirmations, do give it a go. Stick with it. Fake it till you make it, basically. That's what I had to do. But give it a go and see slowly how your confidence can soar as well. It's amazing. 10 healthy habits that you should be doing every single day. I hope you enjoy these little tips and tricks. Some of them are a little bit more time consuming. Some of them you really have to invest in. But all together, if you do these 10 healthy habits for yourself, I can promise you that you will feel so much better, not just on the outside, but also on the inside. Hope you enjoyed this little video. I hope the tips are any good for you. Do you have any other tips that you think I should have added? Do leave me a comment down below. And if you made it this far in the video, do me a favor, leave me a comment with a little red heart as well just so i know that you made it this far right but that's it for today thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time bye